Star Wars theory reveals the Acolytes villains were secretly set up 12 years ago, and they're not S. A new Star Wars theory suggests the villains of the Acolyte were set up 12 years ago in Legends going beyond the true Dark Lords of the Sith. As established in trailers for the upcoming Acolyte series set 100 years before the Phantom Menace a new threat is killing Jedi across the galaxy. However the true culprits may not be the kind of Sith audiences are likely expecting and will potentially be led to believe. In the Acolyte Jedi Knights of the High Republic era are being slain by some new foe. With the top suspect being the former Padawan of an esteemed Jedi Master a team of knights and their apprentices are assembled to investigate these murders. Although trailers have confirmed that this will bring these Jedi face to face with a helmeted and red lightsaber wielding villain they might not be a true Sith Lord. To that end an intriguing theory based in legends suggests a different kind of Sith will be behind the Acolyte's murders. What's the best way to watch Star Wars? Here's everything you need to know to watch in release or timeline order and how to include the TV shows. In 2012 James Luceno's Darth Plagueis novel revealed the backstory of Palpatine's Sith Master as well as his master Darth Tenebris. Adhering to Darth Bane's rule of two Tenebris and Plagueis were the true Sith Lords the single master and apprentice in accordance to the strict lineage envisioned by Bane who sought to protect the Sith and their mission to destroy the Jedi and bring order to the galaxy rather than destroying themselves due to infighting and never-ending power plays. However the Darth Plagueis novel confirms the rule of two didn't mean that there weren't other dark side users. According to Plagueis himself there were plenty of pretenders imposters and would-be Sith across the galaxy who chose not to recognize the sanctity of Bane's rule of two. However only Tenebris and Plagueis were the true Sith lords of their time a lineage Palpatine would enter not long after Plagueis killed Tenebris in accordance with Sith tradition. However even Plagueis and Tenebris were coming to understand that the time of the rule of two was coming to an end. Even Tenebris himself had a secret second apprentice whom Plagueis wouldn't discover, and defeat, until after his master's death. Although Luceno's Darth Plagueis novel is considered non-canon following Disney's Star Wars purchase in 2012 several elements have made their way back to the official canon in various ways. Likewise it's worth noting that the Acolyte showrunner Leslie Headland is confirmed as a big fan of Legends and the expanded universe of Star Wars. It should prove to be very interesting to see what might be revealed in the upcoming show set in the same period when Tenebris and Slash or Plagueis were most likely active especially considering both of them were aliens with long lifespans. Additionally the concept of pretenders or lesser Sith is also interesting due to the upcoming show's investigation into several Jedi deaths and the villain at the end of the Acolytes trailers who could very well be a completely new character. Perhaps they and those working with them will be revealed as Sith imposters. This would certainly help maintain the notion that the true Dark Lords of the Sith remained hidden in the shadows during this time period at the end of the High Republic era. That being said perhaps the actions of Sith pretenders in the Acolyte could very well be what draws the true Sith Lords out looking to eliminate rivals who could risk exposure and undo all of their carefully laid plans. At any rate Legends does set up a key precedent the established canon could very well use in this new Star Wars show. Just because the dark side had a rule of two doesn't mean it was followed by all who chose to embrace the dark side of the Force. The Acolyte Premieres on June 4 on Disney+. Plus. The Acolyte is a television series set in the Star Wars universe at the end of the High Republic era where both the Jedi and the Galactic Empire were at the height of their influence. This sci-fi thriller sees a former Padawan reunite with her former Jedi Master as they investigate several crimes, all leading to darkness erupting from beneath the surface and preparing to bring about the end of the High Republic. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. Star Wars newest Disney Plus TV show Star Wars, the Acolyte premieres on June 4 and one behind-the-scenes video highlights the show's unique style. Will Trent's season 2 finale twist gets a detailed explanation from co-showrunner Liz Heldens shedding light on how it came about and what it means. Doctor Who season 14 is evolving the show while still honoring what came before it with callbacks to a forgotten aspect of the Doctor's character. 
Brand new images from George's funeral scene set in the Young Sheldon finale are released revealing new looks at Lance Barber being emotional. Although The Simpsons changed one vital aspect of Homer's character over the years the season 35 finale offered an explanation for this mystery. The rookie showrunner Alexi Hawley explains the decision behind the major season 6 finale cameos and why Nisi Nash Betts wasn't included. Although the sitcom spin-off may have tried to replace Roseanne Barr's Roseanne the Connors season 6 finale admitted that this plan didn't work out.